everyone! It's me again. Um, so this time I'm going to go over my pro my progress with class three. Um, last week I went over a little bit of what I learned during the class portion of it, but um, I want to go over how I did this past week, which I have to admit wasn't too well. Um, I got a little busy at work. <laughs> I have a deadline approaching and unfortunately that means working later hours and not being able to spend as much time on hypno babies. <laughs> so I didn't get to practice my tracks as much as I want to and really, if I'm going to be honest, I think I only got to practice them twice each which is not really good at all. So I didn't do that well last week. Um, but I know that once the class ends, I'll get to go over all my tracks again, as many times as I want. And I'm gonna be on maternity leave soon, so I'll have more time to do it. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to that so that I can actually focus and practice for reals <laughs> without having to get work in the way. Um, let's see, so there are a few things that, other than the listening to the tracks that we're expected to do during the, the week for homework, I guess is what they call it. Um, some of the things are, well, there's listening to the tracks, but there's also exercising. So, I don't remember which class it was where they introduced the exercising, but there are three different exercises that they suggest for us to do, um, and they're all actually really helpful. I like them all, but I don't get to do them all. <laughs> As I said, I'm pretty busy because of work, but one of the ones that I definitely try to do at least a few times a week is the pelvic rock, I think it's called, um, which is where you get on all fours and you kind of tuck in your tailbone and then you tuck it back out and just let your back be flat while you're all while you're on all fours so this kind of stretches your lower back which can for some women can get into a lot of pain especially during the third trimester which i'm in now um so i'm actually getting a lot of lower back pain and those exercises help me so much. Whenever I do them, I can sleep better. I wake up with a lot less back pain. It's just amazing. Of course, um, I think it suggests to do three sets of like 25 every day. <laughs> and I don't get to do nearly as many. I'm sure if I got to do that, maybe my back pain would go away completely. <laughs> but since I can't do that many, even with the limited amount that I do do, um, it helps tremendously. So I suggest that for all of you, if you're going to try it or if you're considering it. Um, the other exercises, I can't really remember them because I haven't been doing them that much. I think there is squatting, which actually I do do because I go to the gym with my husband twice a week. And in the gym, I do some walking on the treadmill, and then we do arms, back, and legs. So I get to do my squats then. Um, and so I'm, I'm sure I don't do as many as I'm supposed to do, according to the homework from HypnoBabies, but I'm doing a little, and HypnoBabies said that that will help a lot um, with strengthening the muscles down there um, and just preparing you for birth. In general. Um, I can't remember the third exercise that I'm supposed to do, but I will remember it later and maybe in the next vlog I'll talk about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's the other homework, exercising, prenatal exercises. By the way, um, other than those exercises, I do try to look up prenatal exercises on YouTube. And I have found a few that I really like. Um, I can't remember their names. I'll post them, though, in the links below. Um, and it's basically, there's cardio, there's strengthening, 
and yoga, which I really enjoy. So when I started doing those, I was able to sleep a lot better at night. I wasn't getting as many aches on my body. Um, the yoga especially helps so much. So yeah, I recommend that for everyone. So I'll post the links. Um, another thing that they introduced us to in class three was um, hypnosis with your eyes open. So in the previous class, they taught us the finger drop technique, which is hypnosis, but with your eyes closed and you learn how to control it with your finger drop technique. Um, in this class, class three, we practiced doing that, but we also added being able to keep your eyes open um, during the hypnosis, which will be really helpful during birth because when you're in between the birthing waves or the pressure waves, you can just open your eyes and interact with people and move around, get more comfortable, maybe drink some water, whatever it is you want to do. And you can still remain in your hypnosis. And then when your next pressure wave starts, you can just turn your light switch back off, go into the deeper hypnosis and close your eyes and go from there. So I like this. Um, I did get to practice it a couple times. I want to practice it a lot more because I need to get better at it. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things that I learned this past week that I like. The other thing that's also in the homework is just nutrition. Nutrition in general, just making sure you eat well, you're eating enough protein, you're eating enough vegetables, basically just everything that's good for yourself and for your baby to grow. Um, I'm glad that the classes give us reminders about what to eat and it even gives us some helpful tips about how to count how much protein we're eating. It's really helpful and beneficial. I haven't been able to use the protein counter thing, but I'm sure for many of you it would be helpful. I just make sure that I eat meat pretty much every day. Chicken, steak, whatever, even tofu. Um, I just make sure that there's some protein in my diet every day, in every meal, and that I also have greens. That's what I've been trying to make sure that I eat, because I typically don't like to eat greens, and I have a hard time doing it, but somehow I just have this desire in me to eat it now, because I guess I know that it's good for my baby that's growing inside of me, so that's good. Um, and also another thing that I've been doing lately, which wasn't uh, recommended exactly by Hippo Babies, I don't think, maybe it was, um, is I've been drinking milk. Well, not, not milk from a cow. I've been drinking um, almond milk. And the reason I'm drinking almond milk versus regular milk is because I'm lactose intolerant. But I googled it, and almond milk has a lot of pro or a lot of calcium. I'm sorry, um, and so it's just as good. So I've been drinking a couple of cups of that per day, and I noticed that at night, before I was drinking almond milk, because I hardly ever drink almond milk before by itself. Like maybe I have it once a week with my cereal, but definitely not two cups of it every day. Before I started doing that, I was actually getting really bad cramps on my legs every single night. And it was getting really bad. I would wake up and I just, I couldn't stop the pain. It was such a strong pain in my leg. The worst leg cramps I've ever felt, really. And then after it would finally go away, all the next day and maybe for a couple days after that, the muscle was sore. It felt like I had been working it out or like someone had, you know, hit me really hard in the leg with something. It was so bad. Um, and then once I started drinking my almond milk every day, those completely went away. I don't get any cramps at all. I'm so happy about that. So yeah, if any of you are experiencing that, maybe you could give it a try or drink regular milk. Um, and hopefully that will help you out. And the other thing that we are reminded of for during our homework or to do for our homework is 
having proper body alignment. For example, they tell us to make sure we're sitting correctly. We have to make sure that we're not leaning back, that we're actually in kind of like a 90 degree angle and not putting too much pressure on our lower back while we're sitting. This will help with the back pain. And when we're standing also, there is a suggestion to just make sure not to overarch your lower back, which I think pregnant women tend to do because of the heaviness of the belly. So we kind of arch it a little forward. Um, so that will cause back aches. So they suggest not to do that, to stand straight, to make sure that you're putting most of your weight on your heels. So yeah, I, I think that pretty much sums up the homework that we're supposed to do, which I didn't get to do all of it <laughs> this past week. And it's Christmas in a few days, so I most likely will not be able to finish all of my videos for this new week. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not trying to pressure myself too much about this. I still have time. I'm 30 weeks right now. So I have, I hope, some time to finish all of my classes. I just went over class four. Uh, me and my husband just finished it yesterday, last night. So I haven't even started doing those tracks yet. I'm a little behind, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, I'm probably gonna give myself one extra week to do the tracks from class four, just to give myself some time to catch up. And because we're going to be visiting family for Christmas and, you know, just hanging out with everyone for New Year's, I most likely won't have too much time to do all the tracks every day and all the homework every day. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give myself some time and I just hope everyone out there has a wonderful Christmas and Happy New Year. And I will be back mm, probably not next week, maybe a little further out than that, with my results from class four homework. And also with what I learned during class four, which class four, I have to say, was one of my favorites. I learned a lot of things that I really liked and that I think um, I were very beneficial for me to know. So I will have all of that information in the next